The first question that I would offer, and we'll go in reverse order, Penny and then to um, Eric. What policy solutions are you willing to see enacted in Augusta in the next term as it relates to the key issues of keeping prices down while balancing that need for workforce and wages, which is a pinch point most of the businesses we hear from the farm themselves? I will say most of, I believe most of the inflation issues are seen right now is a result of several things. One, our economy is doing really well, which is causing the shortage supplies and shortage of workers. We also have a uh, war in another country that is disrupting our supply chain, our food supplies and our oil supplies that is having a significant impact. I believe most of the inflation that we're seeing right now is a result of several things. One, our economy is doing really well, which is causing the shortage of supplies and shortage of workers. So I, I disagree very strongly that the economy is doing well. The economy is not doing well. Our economy in Maine is shrinking, all right? Our GDP is going backwards. Uh, inflation is ravaging the, the, the main people of, our, of our, our paychecks and our retirements, our kids' college fund, and this was utterly predictable. In fact, two years ago, when the policy debate was we should shut down the economy and print trillions of dollars out of thin air to fund everything that we want, I warned at the time, inflation is going to be a predictable consequence of this, and the inflation is here. Uh, you don't need to be Elon Musk to understand. Elon Musk said, you know, if you don't make stuff, you don't have stuff. It's, it's common sense, and that's where we are. We stop making stuff, and we print the trillions of dollars out of thin air, and here we are. Now, when this happens, it's, 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 it's the middle class that pays the brunt of this, and that's what we're feeling. So what do we do on a state level? We've got to do three things. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to apply first aid. We've got to do what we can to bring down the cost of living immediately to make people. We should suspend completely tax state taxes on things like heating oil and basic life necessities to help people get through this cold winter. The, the next two things we have to do, we've got to get, we got to get our productivity up. We've got, to, we've got to get more goods and services being produced. Um, we need welfare reform to get people back into the workforce. We need to bring affordable energy to the state. We need to revisit negotiations with Massachusetts to get down the gas pipeline up here, which they've blocked in recent years. It's kind of funny they want that hydro border coming through our state, but they don't want natural gas pipeline coming through their state. Seems that they want something, we want something, we should be able to negotiate. But then the third thing we have to do is we have to push back against the overspending in Washington, D.C. We have to do this from the state level. You can't print trillions of dollars out of thin air and think that that's going to create prosperity. That is stealing value from the savings of the middle class, and people are feeling 